Hello, I'm Herman Vesky. In a personal quest, I had conversations with some of the most intriguing artists and thinkers for more than 30 years. It's an exploration into the various facets of creativity. And now it's about time we put the spotlight on European creativity. I grew up in a world that was supposed to already be this united Europe without borders and with this idea of us all belonging together. And now I'm beginning to realize that that's not completely the truth and it kind of hurts. <laughs> to put that into something where I have to get into action is that I'm realizing that Europe is something we all need to build ourselves. I'm a good example for a complete European because I'm like, my, my family is from Latvia, from Poland, from, from France, from Germany, and I grew up in Austria. I would say I'm European, and I would say maybe my humor is, is Austrian, and I pay my taxes in Germany and stuff like this. I remember that my mother, like, I grew up in Vienna, and we have like these beautiful old museums, and I remember the first time she took me to nature historic and art historic museums, which are really beautiful, and I think I was about four years old, and uh, the next day I asked my mother, like, okay, mama, when are we going back in there again? So I, I grew up and I feel like for me, museums have always been some kind of like safe space. And I think I was heavily influenced by this availability of art in the city where you, you breathe history and you walk over it all the time. And now I live in Berlin and something that I sometimes realize, I mean, Berlin is a, st a city with a lot of history as well, but you can sometimes completely forget it because you can go through Berlin and be like, oh, new sneaker, new language, new everything, and you're not in context of time. But in Vienna, where you're like in context of time all the time, because you sit on a bench where someone cried a hundred years ago, some artists, or you, you have all of those things that make you see that you're such a small part of history, and I think a lot of places in Europe are like that, and it puts yourself into relation. I was realizing how privileged we are here, how, how good the quality of life is, which is probably based on the long history of democracy we have. I think people forget how easily that can be lost. Like even in some tiny mainstream thing, you have to fight for that. You should honor it, not shut your mouth, because it will fuck you. <laughs> At some point, if you don't do it, probably it's ingrained into my family because I come from a family that has been in war and has been like on two sides of very problematic history. Sometimes I feel a bit betrayed of what's happening at the moment because I feel like, hey guys, you promised me this, that we're Europe, you know? Why, why are we shutting borders during COVID? And why are some people uh, getting out of the European Union and stuff like that? It just um, feels really strange for people of my generation because We've been promised something that is actually not completely existing. So now the question is like, what do we do with that? And I think it probably, probably the solution is that we as young Europeans fight for that idea.